We have had a very positive uh, meeting this morning. We will continue uh, this afternoon. Um, first of all, let me take this opportunity to congratulate you and uh, Greece uh, on the 60th anniversary of your membership uh, of uh, NATO. Um, I would like to take this opportunity to, to thank very much for your strong commitment uh, to our alliance, to the transatlantic relationship. Uh, we are grateful uh, for your significant contributions to uh, NATO-led operations. Last year, the very successful operation to protect civilians in Libya. You also contribute significantly to uh, our operations um, in uh, Kosovo uh, and uh, Afghanistan. And politically, uh, Greece has played and will play uh, a crucial role when it comes to um, the Euro-Atlantic integration of countries uh, in the Western uh, Balkans. And I, I would like to see all countries uh, in the Western Balkans integrated in our Euro-Atlantic structures, NATO and uh, European Union. And I think Greek, uh, Greece can uh, play um, an important role uh, in uh, facilitating uh, that um, uh, process. I'm visiting Athens at a time uh, when the government is struggling uh, to get the finances uh, in order and reshape um, the economy. And to my mind, there is a strong link uh, between security and economy. Because if uh, countries are faced with huge deficits and mounting debt, they also become more vulnerable. So, uh, sound fiscal policies are also sound security policies. Um, in that respect, NATO offers both good economy and good security. Good security because we make each, under, uh, each other stronger uh, when we um, help uh, each other. Good economy because uh, we can actually uh, ensure more efficient use of our resources uh, when we go for multinational solutions instead of purely national solutions. So if we help each other, we get stronger. That's the essence of our alliance. Uh, NATO is a family of nations that share the same values and a family within which we help each other. This will also be an important item uh, on the agenda uh, of the NATO summit uh, in Chicago. We will discuss how we can ensure strong defense in the future, how we can acquire the necessary um, military capabilities despite the economic crisis and declining defense budgets. And the way forward is what we call smart defense, a smarter way of spending uh, defense money. And the smarter way is to do it together, to pool and share resources, uh, to go for multinational uh, solutions. Um, and during my talks today uh, with members of the Greek government, I got a confirmation that uh, Greece uh, is prepared to engage uh, in such uh, multinational um, uh, cooperation. Finally, at the Chicago summit, summit we will also discuss our partnerships uh, with uh, countries across the globe. Um, I will highlight uh, on this occasion our partnerships uh, with countries in North Africa and the Middle East. In the wake of the Arab Spring, I think we should take the opportunity to enhance uh, our partnerships with countries in that region. That is of strategic interest uh, uh, to us to see um, um, freedom um, and prosper prosperity flourish in North Africa uh, and um, uh, the Middle East, um, and to see the Mediterranean as a sea of peace, mm -hmm. a center of economic growth and prosperity. That would be in the interest of Greece, 
but it will also be in the interest of the whole of Europe and the Euro-Atlantic area. And uh, I would expect uh, the NATO summit in Chicago uh, to uh, make important decisions uh, on enhancement of our uh, partnerships with countries in North Africa uh, and the Middle East.